Yeah, definitely. Uh, Coach Banda will join Blake Anderson and his staff down at Utah State. First year head coach down at Utah State. He'll be the defensive coordinator. He's also taking some part-time coaches with him to Utah State. Demarcus Van Dyke, who was a director of player recruiting with Coach Cooney at the University of Miami. He was a big factor in recruiting. Local guy, went to Monsignor Pace High School, went to the University of Miami. I think he was a third-round pick to the Oakland Raiders as well, played in the NFL. So he'll be joining his staff. So will quality control analyst Mike Zuckerman and uh, defensive uh, director of player personnel Alex Devine as well. So definitely a big jump. The question is for Miami, who will take over as the safety's position coach moving forward? A couple names have already came out that Miami may be pursuing. Nick Monroe, Syracuse safety's coach who has strong ties specifically in the North Miami area. Also, Corey Bell, defensive backs coach at UCF. He comes from the Randy Shannon kind of coaching lineage. Um, you know, he's followed Randy Shannon for a very long time at Florida, at UCF, so couple interesting names to look out for. I'm sure those are just two quick names. There's going to be a lot more coaches under consideration to take over at the safety's position coach uh, role. I don't think Ed Reed wants the job. I know a lot of fans scream, Ed Reed, perfect fit. Obviously, one of the best safeties to ever play the game. But ultimately, I don't think he's interested in taking that job. Yeah, Ed Reed certainly making his presence known and felt uh, in the program of uh, being that um – that um, bridge between the players and uh, the administration and doing a fine job and seems to make a big impact uh, in what he has done here uh, in the last season. Uh, considering the ridicule and the criticism directed toward Blake Baker uh, as defensive coordinator uh, this particular season with the, uh, the Canes uh, finishing with a much better record than they have in recent years, but yeah. the defensive side of the ball not being what it has been in terms of national rankings. Uh, do you have any thoughts about Blake Baker's performance? And if there is a possible change, you would have thought it would have already been forthcoming at this point. You're as good as your last at bat, Mark. Um, Blake Baker finished the season ending the last two games, giving up 99 points, 1,196 total yards of offense the past two games. Um, you know, we've allowed 233 passing yards per game this entire season, 174 rushing yards per game. We've given up 4.5 yards per carry. Look, Blake Baker, ultimately, I believe he will be retained on staff. Unfortunately, I would be in, I would be, I don't know if the word sh in shock if he is fired. I just think I would be surprised if he was let go. I don't think Manny Diaz is going to um, get rid of Blake Baker. An interesting scenario I can see play out, Mark. There's a guy by the name of Charlie Patridge. I, if you're familiar with his name, he was the defensive line coach at Pittsburgh currently. He was also the associate head coach there under Pat Narduzzi this past season. He was the co-defensive coordinator under, under uh, Brett Bielema's staff at Arkansas. He then, uh, and previously at Wisconsin as well. After that, he gets the head coaching job at Florida Atlantic University for three years, literally goes three and nine every single season. Don't be surprised if Manny hires Charlie Patridge as the defensive line coach and as co-defensive coordinator. Remember, Todd Stroud, defensive line coach, he has a past history of, you know, of a medical illness, very serious issue, and the COVID-19 season has taken a humongous toll on him and his health, obviously, you know, with all the, he has to be very, uh, cautious what's going on you know being around practice players traveling you know he's definitely someone who needs to be very careful he may retire or take another role step away from the defensive line uh position and they may bring in charlie patridge that's a name to look out for moving forward so i can see a scenario where blake baker in a sense just instead of taking the defensive coordinator role as the head guy goes back to cody c and then bringing in another Cody C in Charlie Patridge, for example. But that's just one name, one situation. But ultimately, Mark, at any other program, Blake Baker would be gone after UNC. End of story. We've seen this at Texas with Tom Herman as their head coach. I believe they went 7-3. and three. Could be wrong on that. Mm -hmm. They got rid of him. They bring in Steve Sarkeesian. 
great hire. Alabama offensive coordinator just killing it over there down in Tuscaloosa. Now they're looking at guys like Marcus Freeman. They want to win football games. They want to put down the money to bring in the right personnel to get the job done. Manny Diaz wants to be successful at Miami. You need to let go of your pupils, of the guys you brought in. You can't have a heart in college football. You need to be cold. You need to be real. And Blake Baker does not deserve a job next season. Yeah, uh, I think he laid it out there very uh, succinctly and very directly that um, this is not uh, an intramural team. This is not a situation where you bring your buddies on to have a good time and then, um, you know, move on and have a few drinks after the games. Right. Uh, certainly, if your buddies are some of the best in the business and that works out, great. I think Mark Rick's tenure was the the perfect example of uh, mixing family and business and not doing it effectively. And I'll never understand that. Uh, and Manny Diaz may be falling prey to it as well. Uh, it's a defense that um, certainly performed among the top 10 to 15 in the nation for three to four years there at the end of Mark Rick's tenure with Manny Diaz running the defense and then um, uh, certainly took steps in the other direction this year. Yeah. And another example people are bringing up, Mark, is Al Golden with Mark D'Onofrio. Al Golden was the head coach. That was his good friend from Temple. I think uh, I could be wrong if they both went to Penn State together. Could be wrong on that. Mark D'Onofrio was actually a third round draft pick, uh, you know, was a very successful college football player, becomes defensive coordinator. And Al Golden just can't, couldn't get rid of him whatsoever. Could not get rid of him, did not, would vouch for his buddy. And Al Golden actually got fired technically before Mark D'Onofrio. <laughs> That's the funny thing. So, yeah, if you want to succeed in this game, you have to fire your close friends.